Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to another Boggy Creek update, blanket update, whatever you want to say. <laughs> I'm going to lose my brain. Um, <laughs> so I was supposed to do this yesterday, but as you can see, I'm doing it tonight. Oh, it is about 10.07, so um, yeah. But anyways, um, I was really tired last night, and I've worked on this all day as the only thing I've worked on today which is awesome um because sometimes you know I bounce back and forth but this is my blanket I am working on for Boggy Creek it's a Tunisian entrelock excuse the mess um but you can see I've gotten pretty far I'm just doing random uh colors you know or random amount of colors so like it's long <laughs> so you know I started off with the first two this color then this color and then three of this then two of this and one two three four five of this and then I added in this um, denim blue and then just one row of this another denim blue and I'll be adding another denim blue on top of this one and then I'll do a couple more rows of this and then add another one of this. So last time you guys seen it, it was here. So which it was this row. So the way Tunisian works, the Tunisian entrelock, it's actually this row, but it's this block series. So this first block series. I know it's a little confusing. I do apologize, <laughs> but it's it was this. So, and I was only here. So I did the rest of the row, then did this, five rows of this, one row of that, one row of that. I'm on this row and then, yeah, so on and so forth. So that's where I'm at right now. I'm gonna go ahead and give you another view of it. Oh, come on, sorry about my foot's in the way. <laughs> there you go, I wanna see my foot. So, once you look at it, it looks pretty good. Um, I think it's looking gorgeous. I did, um, this is the st a stitch marker I made. Ta-da, it's a swan. And it's so pretty. Um, so, I'm using uh, Big Twist in the color Aqua. <clears throat> big twist in the color denim and then this is a Hobby Lobby print that has been discontinued um, they're all four weight acrylic yarn um, and whatnot um, I kind of can't reach them right now um, but just to let you guys know Nancy from she's got yarn 2 I will link her below um, if you do not know about Boggy Creek Originally, her mom, uh, who is in a women's group in Florida here, um, a women's chapter, they asked Nancy to make just a couple blankets, and Nancy asked another YouTuber, and so on and so forth, and then they finally just asked the whole of YouTube, that uh, all the subscri subscribers to see if people would donate blankets to this amazing um, camp. It is a camp for very sick children um, that normally could not go to camp. Uh, and so Paul Newman and General Schwarzkopf uh, founded this camp here in Eustis, Florida. And um, they are, like I said, requesting blankets. Uh, Nancy is trying to fill a truck um, full of blankets for this camp. I know they're over, well over 100 at the moment. So that is amazing. Um, you have till the end <clears throat> of December to um, get your blankets mailed. And in January, 
they will be taking the blankets themselves to the camp, which is amazing. Sorry about that. Um, I forgot where I was, but anyways, the camp has like medical staff, um, for the children. So each week is a different illness. So like one week they'll have kids with heart issues. The next week they'll have kids with diabetes, you know, so on and so forth. Um, and it's all free to them. The parents pay nothing, um, at all which is amazing. Um, I just, I think it's a, a great, great uh, charity. Um, honestly, I wish I knew about it sooner. Um, this is my second blanket. I put a little bit too much on my plate, so I, um, I kind of haven't done as much as I really wanted to. So, but it's all good. We all have next year, so. <laughs> um, so, yeah, if you would like to participate, go ahead over to Nancy at She's Got Yarn 2. Um, and uh, send her some blankets. Um, and if you don't know her, send her some love. If you can't do blankets, you know, just just send some love to the to the sick kids, you know just you know it's nice that they get to be around other kids that you know have the same illness as them you know be able to talk about it and you know get different ways of, you know that they didn't think of coping with it and just stuff like that so for me I just I think that's I think it's pretty amazing um but they every time a kid comes through and they leave they get a blanket and they were running low on blankets so that's why Nancy's mom asked her to go ahead and make a few blankets and it just kind of did that snowball effect <laughs> so um so yeah that is pretty much it uh if you have any questions um let me know oh and the blankets sorry I, brain fart um, the blankets are 35 to 40 inches wide and 40 to 50 inches long is how long they, is how big they need to be. Um, if they're a little, a tad bit bigger, they, they take them, but they don't want huge Afghans. Um, they just want enough for the kid, the kids to curl up with. Well, I think it's from ages... 6 to 16 or something like that. I can't exactly remember. Um, but I know there's a certain certain age limit. So that's why they don't want big blankets because it's just you know, it's just enough for them to curl up. So um, and have something like a security blanket almost. Um, but yeah. But if you have any questions, please let me know. Like I said, I will link um, Nancy in this video. Uh, it's about 10, 15 at night. Probably won't see this for a little bit. It does take my internet a while to upload. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are having a wonderful night. I do apologize. This was not done on Friday like I usually do. But I just was really tired last night, so... Once again, this is what it's looking like. Excuse the mess. Excuse my foot. <laughs> yeah. I will put a border on it so it's not pointy. Uh, it'll, you know, come off. I'm like that. So, anywho, uh, if you guys, I said if you guys have any questions, let me know. Uh, please don't forget, one small act of kindness. You never know what somebody's going through. Even if it's just a simple smile, a simple hello, how you doing, it may just cheer them up. It may make their day. Until the next one, love you guys. Bye for now.